I did not want to jump too far ahead without bringing you along, but uh, obviously we've got the floor in, we got the drop down in, I've got the trailer up on jacks just so it's nice and sturdy when I use anything on top of it to keep it there. I got the walls up and I wanted to talk to you just um, a minute about what we're going to do here. We are going to go with this 66 Gaucho with 100% amber shellac. Walls, cabinets, cabinet doors. That is gonna be the first time I've done a camper 100% amber shellac. So I was uh, getting to work last night in making up my walls. Remember a few episodes back, I told you that it's so much easier if you glue your cross braces, your rafters, I guess, if you will, if you put those on. This is going to be the front window, and you can tell that because it has this six-inch board on there, where normally they're just the four-inch board. So there's the front window, and then, of course, the uh, piece that goes on top of it. I measured it, and it was just a couple of inches uh, for the cutout of the window. And then back here, you can see I've got the back window, back part of the roof, what will eventually be the roof. But look at this Luon, pretty nice. I think it's gonna, gonna amber shellac up real nice. But I did make the mistake of putting this guy up first. So I put it up right here in the front and I just got the screws put in it and I was like, uh-oh, I forgot to do something. Let me show you what that was. So what I forgot to do, because this is gonna be amber shellac, I really can't use a plastic product quarter round. I could, but it's not gonna look that good. So what they came from the factory with is welting. Welting. It's kind of, uh, it's just a trim piece. Cove molding, they would kind of call it, but since it has this piece to staple, that makes it welting. So I'm going to put that on the whole roof, and then that's going to hide all the imperfections, and I don't have to amber shellac it. So it's going to go on like this. Oh, better get back out here. This little piece right here, this kind of flat strip on the back. That's what we're gonna uh, staple into here. So I'm just going to catch it right here, staple it, and then the roof will go across here. And so if you get a little close up here, you could see that now you can't see any of that edge, nor will you see any of the edge of the roof. And this color is going to work good with our amber shellac. It's not going to be any kind of problem whatsoever. So I just wanted to kind of show you that. And uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and amber shellac these walls real quick uh, to get those out of the way so that I don't get a bunch of amber shellac all over this and it looks shinier than it already does. So uh, I'm going to show you that process probably in fast motion. And, uh, and we'll get going from there. I'm going to try and get a, a quick coat of amber shellac on here. I don't know if I'm gonna do one coat or two coats. We'll see how dark it gets because all wood is a little bit different. We'll see what it looks like. But uh, hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of any of these videos, I would appreciate if you'd hit the like and the subscribe. It helps our channel grow and uh, I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. That's kind of a fun part of my day. So uh, we're gonna get back to this amber shellac. This is what I use. Nobody's paying me for it, but it's just what I use. I thought you might want to know. The difference between the amber, the amber has that brown color to it, and the clear is obviously, it's clear. So it's more of a protectant, where this is a protectant, and it adds that amber color that you see a lot of in the 50s and uh, early 60s trailers. So uh, normally, I never wear gloves. I, I like to be at one with you know whatever it is I'm working on. Even though it kind of beats up my hands, I don't care. I, 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 th that part makes me happy. But this stuff is sincere. Once it goes on, it does not come off. 
So if you dip this in and you get it on your fingernails, you're walking around with brown fingernails. And everybody's going to think that you're sick or something. I don't know. But it looks kind of weird. So I actually bought some, uh, bought some gloves. So uh, <clears throat> I'll look normal. Now, what I use to put this amber shellac on is just a microfiber towel. So I'm just going to roll it up a little bit, try to get it to where I've got a pretty good surface to work with. So I've got it rolled up like this and uh, I can kind of dip it in there and then put it on. So it's gonna go probably a little something like this. Just, just get it on here like this. It just try to keep it nice and smooth because anywhere you stop and there's a line, there's gonna be a line. It's kind of like uh, a little bit like stain. If you don't keep it even when you first put it on, it's not gonna look even. And I find that this method for me works really well. Um, I'm sure there's a probably a pro way to do it and maybe somebody will leave me a comment and tell me. But so here's kind of the idea. You can see the difference, get you in the light there. See, that's just one coat. So it's made that much of a difference. It's probably gonna be a two coat job. You can see down here. I like it though, I like it already. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And uh, I'll probably put you on fast motion so you can see everything that I'm going to do. shellac that's just one coat and that looks fabulous let's take a look at this welting i highly recommend it it'll save you a lot of time and it's really not that expensive so you can see it's kind of a cove molding so it's hiding every when i cut these walls there were lots of imperfections you just can't see them now and so then when i go to put the ceiling on it's going to be right here and every imperfection up here, you'll never see it. And it gives a real nice look with this amber shellac, I kind of feel like. I think that looks a lot better than if I had painted some sort of trim or something. So, all in all, I gotta say, I'm very, very pleased. Welting and amber shellac.